Hello, welcome to another episode of In the Line of Wire, the webcast. Uh, today I have with me Mr. Adnan Lawai, who is the CEO of Folio3, which is a company based in Karachi. Hi Adnan. Hi. How are you doing? Doing fine. Would you tell us, uh, you know, describe in a nutshell what Folio3 does? Okay, so Folio3 works with small companies, entrepreneurs. Uh, we work on outsourced software development. Okay. But it's a particular type of outsourcing that we work on. Okay. Uh, we work with startups and we work primarily on products. Okay. Most of our customers tend to be in technology clusters like Silicon Valley, like the Boston area, like the New York area. Um, and we tend to do um, high level product development. Okay, so why don't we talk about a few of the exciting projects that you've done. Okay, so uh, we've been around for about three years and actually in that time we worked with over 50 customers but I'll talk about two or three which are currently going on. Yeah, especially and secretbuilders.com which excites me a lot. Okay. The entire idea behind it. Okay. Well. So Secret Builders is, uh, you can think of it as a second life for kids. It's, okay. um, it's a virtual world okay. where uh, a child can go in and uh, he has an avatar. He can make his own avatar to look like whatever he wants to. And then there are other characters. They're both computer-generated characters as well as other people with their avatars who are walking around in this in this world. Mm -hmm. And there are various worlds in there um, based on certain themes. You know, there's a sort of a haunted theme and an adventure theme and a sci-fi theme. And but so there on. is something special about this as opposed to Second Life, right? There is uh, an education element to it. Right. So. Um, so a child can wander around and he will interact with uh, characters like Einstein and uh, Rumi and Ghaleb and wow. so on. And so the idea is not just to entertain the child but also to educate the child, right? But to do it in a way that, you know, the, the primary, yeah, yeah, the primary right. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, approach is entertainment. Right? Okay. Um, and then there are games in this, uh, you know, there's, there's many games that, that we've developed. A uh, kid can go in and, you know, uh, uh, test his talents against uh, you know computer generated games and what's been the initial response to the, the initial response has been great I mean we're getting uh, hundreds of people signing in every day uh, it was just launched about two or three weeks ago and uh, it's it's you know it's in beta right now and uh, there are kids all over the world uh, from schools from you know we've done very limited well, the customer in this case has done very limited uh, uh, press coverage and so on uh, but it has brought in a lot of uh, uh, children who are interested in this. Okay, now tell me, is it limited to kids or supposing I think I need to... Well, it's limited kids. to kids of all ages. Okay. So if you consider yourself a kid, go ahead. Okay, great. great. I have a great time there. Okay, <laughs> terrific. Now, anything else? Anything yeah, else? I mean, there's, there's, there's a bunch of really interesting uh, projects that we're working on. Uh, so, for example, there's a, a customer of ours called MediaMorph. Uh, okay. They're building the next generation advertising platform for the web. Okay. Um, this is for video advertisements. Um, so you had um, platforms like DoubleClick, for example, that would put images in there. And, you know, there were algorithms, fairly fancy algorithms that would uh, calculate, you know, which sites, how much traffic was, was coming on each site and, you know, what kind of content and how people were reacting to ads and so on. So all of that logic and, in fact, you know, much more than that is now going into serving video ads and okay. uh, measuring how people react to those ads and then how to, you know, uh, place those ads accordingly okay. on, on which sites and on... on uh, and you know, is it up already or are you working on it at the moment? We, uh, it's in beta right now. So okay. uh, it is up but, you know, it at sort of, you know, limited uh, rollout. Um, the customer in this case, MediaMorph, is working with the likes of um, Time Warner and Sony and E-Online. And uh, it's in the process of being rolled So out. all the work for these projects has been done here in Pakistan? All the development work? Primarily in Pakistan. Uh, we also have a, an office in Bulgaria, in Sofia. Okay. So for example, some of the animation work for Secret Builders and okay. some of the uh, infrastructure, the software infrastructure work for Secret Builders was done in Bulgaria. A lot of the games, a lot of the, um, uh, the graphic design was done here. Medium Off has been essentially done all here. I mean, there's obviously developers in the New York office at Medium Off who are um, who are working with the team here in Karachi. Sure, sure. Okay, terrific. And there was one more project that I wanted you to talk about, which was Diagnosis One. Yeah, so Diagnosis One has been a long time customer. It's um, it's, a, it's another really exciting project. It's basically an expert system okay. uh, that helps doctors make diagnoses and prescriptions. 
So um, the, the issue with um, doctors, as I'm sure all of you will understand, is that sometimes they make mistakes. And uh, this is a, a computer-based system. Uh, uh, there, are, there are teams of doctors that have put in symptoms and what that indicates in terms of a diagnosis. Uh, right? So if you're not a very good doctor, this will help you. This will help you. the right medication. Right. Wow. Right. So it's an expert system. The other part of it is they have a disease surveillance system, okay. which is actually, in, again, in beta, it's being rolled out in Pakistan and some other developing countries. Okay. So that basically, uh, you know, you'd have a, a system within a clinic or a hospital. If somebody walks in with, a, uh, with an epidemic type disease, um, like hepatitis or AIDS and so on, that information goes into the system and then it gets gathered in a central location so that you can track how a disease is spreading. So public health organizations, you know, government health organizations and so on. Very useful as well for the third world. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you, Adnan. Uh, that was really interesting. I wish we could talk more about what Folio 3 is up to. But it's been great talking to you and seeing, you know, hearing from you what kind of work is being done in Pakistan. Uh, the fact that you're working with your Bulgarian office and the US office and they're all working in synergy, that's great to know. And we wish you luck in all your future projects. So that was another episode of In the Line of Wire. Uh, thank you for being with us. Thanks to Adnan for joining us for this episode. And until next time, this is Jana Ara signing off.